Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel and it is going to be another Tip Tuesday. So we're going to talk about tape. We're going to be talking about different types of tape, uses for tape with watercolors, and what happens when we don't use tape. So I've got a bunch of tape here. Let me introduce my different types of tape. Here's my washi and then we've got some masking tape, some green painter's tape, hyper tough electrical tape, gorilla tape that is like strong duct tape, and regular scotch tape. So today we are going to do a little bit of a tape test. It's not going to be as visible as last week's pen test, but I will talk you through it. All right, I'm gonna begin with the Gorilla Tape. This Gorilla Tape is too strong and I do not recommend it for a watercolor painting. As I rip it off, you can see that it wrecks the surface of the paper and not pretty. It leaves quite a bit of little paper bits on the tape. Next we have the Masking Tape. It peels off pretty well from the paper. There's a little bit of wrecked paper in the corner, but still a good choice. Next, the green painter's tape. I love this one because it peels off just like a butter. So smooth. Also, notice the angle I'm removing the tape at. It makes it come off a lot cleaner. I know this one makes no sense, but we're going to test the electrical tape just for kicks. It leaves paper on it and rips it, so definitely not good. Onto the clear scotch tape. Now, this one isn't terrible, but I just want to see where it is so it doesn't confuse me when I'm painting. Lastly, the washi tape. This one has a little bit of paper residue as well. Not a terrible option, but it is cute. Tape. When we tape it down, it creates a level surface so nothing's gonna move around. It's going to hold the paper out flat so that it doesn't warp, right? When paper gets wet, it likes to bubble up and warp. So our tape helps eliminate that. And our tape also can be used for sectioning off. So we will look at what that looks like. So sectioning off your design is super easy. Wherever you section it off at, the tape is gonna cover and for the most part gonna seal off those edges so that none of the color or water gets into sections that you don't want it to. Often like corners, edges, or even little designs that you create in your paper. The nice thing about this one, actually both, is that they rip like paper so you can have that like paper squiggly edge whereas these other ones are just gonna be like straight edges once the paint dries you can go ahead and remove your tape and reveal your final design As you can tell, maybe this one is my favorite. It works so well and it rips nicely. It does not eat at your paper at all. So definitely check out Painter's Tape. You can actually reuse it. It will still hold it in place and still work well probably two or three times. So it makes this roll last quite a bit longer. I hope you enjoyed the video today. If you did, please go ahead and like it. And comment something that you want to learn in a future Tip Tuesday. I'd be happy to teach you. And please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to grow my following so I can continue to do these fun things. And check out my Instagram page. It's called Sunflowers and Stitches. That's where I do my craft projects and share my creativity. <laughs> Bye, guys.